<laughs> Pastor, there's been a lot of prayer going up on your behalf. These people have been praying for you. And we are truly grateful that you stand here today. We thank God for blessing you and keeping you. Sister Jennings, we want to thank you because you are truly a beautiful wife. To be such a young girl and follow and trusted and believed in him along the way, we can clearly see your steps have been blessed. And we thank God for you being by his side. We just wanted to bless you guys uh, with a few gifts. And of course, on behalf of the sisterhood, we say thank you for your hard work, everything you've done. It has not gone, gone unnoticed at all. And we just hope that this little something is just a little expression, but it goes a long way to us because we are truly, truly thankful for everything that you do for us. With this gift here, basically it's a bunch of healthy teas. <laughs> And also a lot of snacks. Um, there's chocolates in here, things that we found out is uh, both of your favorites. So we wanted to give this to you. And also in consideration of, we know when we give gifts, we have to think about scriptures and different things like that because we know you will get on us if we give you something that we're not supposed to. So we decided... Picture of you guys in glass. Oh. So again, we want to say thank you. We love you, and we're gonna keep on praying for you. Thank you very much. Everyone that's able to stand, please stand, please. Pastor, as we look out over the saints, over the congregation, we just see a small percentage of all the lives that you have impacted all the souls that you have impacted by your teaching. You have truly taught us how to be better fathers, better husbands, better mothers, better daughters, and overall better servants to the living God. We thank God for you. On behalf of the brotherhood, we welcome you back. We truly love you. We missed you, Pastor. You don't know. When I came in, and when I saw you coming in this, this morning, you brought a lot of joy to my heart, Pastor. Thank God for you. We love you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We'll now have Brother Mark with our announcements. Somebody took the mic stand. How am I supposed to come behind that one? <laughs> Greetings, brothers and sisters. Y'all can do better than that. Amen. Welcome to First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We'll get these announcements out the way very quickly. Um, this comes from the death of Sister Joanne Stevens. Want to continue to keep Pastor Jennings in your prayers and his family. Want to pray for the brothers that minister along with them and their families. Want to pray for the sick and the shut in the youth department as always. We want to pray for one another. On the prayer list, I want to remember Mother Bars, whose mother passed away yesterday. I want to remember Priscilla Williams, Mother Vernon Shaw and family who lost her brother, uh, Marjorie Trapp, uh, Charles and Jennifer Mayers, and Andrea Trapp. And again, we'll continue down the list if it be the Lord's will. Prayer will be here at the temple tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. 
And also, uh, today is the last day to pay for the Teen Top Golf, so you can see Sister Tayana at the end of the service by the piano. Next announcement uh, says, there will be a mandatory rehearsal for all members of the Truth of God Mass Choir. Please meet on the musician's side immediately following service. Next announcement, this is in reference to the uh, Amsterdam trip. It says, first combine European convocation and Amsterdam, Netherlands. For all those who plan to attend the Amsterdam, Netherlands, Convocation services. September, it says, please see Sister Lorraine Phillips after the service for details. Next announcement, it says, greetings to the headquarters brothers and sisters. Headquarters will be implementing a change in how and when service announcements may be submitted. Beginning today, announcements for the upcoming Tuesday, Thursday, and the following Sunday services will be need to be submitted the Sunday prior. Announcements are requested to be submitted on standardized forms, which may suppl be supplied by Sister Belly, the headquarters secretary. There is a link in the QR code provided to access forms. These forms are to be completed and then emailed back to Sister Belly at secretary at fcooljc.com. Please do not give announcements directly to the brothers during service, as, the, as they will only read announcements signed by headquarters secretary. Note, the above is not related to the prayer list. If there are any questions, please see Sister Belly or email at secretary at fcooljc.com. And last announcement uh, says, uh, there will be an auxiliary fair after the first service on Sunday, July 23rd. There will be representatives from each group on hand to share information and answer any questions as we seek to grow our teams and effort to meet the needs of our church. Please take a few minutes to visit the auxiliary tables that will be located outside on the gym lot. Come see how you can make a difference. At the same time, the culinary team will be grilling and selling platters Sunday, July 23rd after the first service in the gym parking lot. It says your support is appreciated as we seek and strive to feed the saints and help meet the needs of our church. The first, this comes from the First Church Headquarters Auxiliary Team Leaders. At this time, we're going to turn the remaining portion of the service to, to the man of God, the apostle, the apostle, the apostle, Pastor Gino Jennings. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Please, you may be seated. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Well, it's bad to, good to be at home again. We thank the one true living God for his divine wisdom and his perfect. Good to hear your voice, Pastor. It's good to hear your voice. Perfect understanding of all things. Last time I was here, he was still one God and he hasn't made no changes. We thank him for his guidance and his mercy and the way of holiness that is keeping us. It's beautiful to see all of you that are here and the many hundreds of thousands that are watching and listening that I can't see. But I thank everybody for their prayers. Hundreds of thousands were praying. The social media was blowing up all over. And you know when you're known and folks don't see you, rumors start. Yes. <laughs> they come up with stuff. I don't know why they just come up with stuff. There's one website I was looking at earlier in the week. I think as an African sister, if I'm not mistaken, that airs our program and she had on the title where is Pastor Jennings and she said we don't know where he's at but we're praying for him and she was playing some messages but somebody commented the devil killed him <laughs> no. wish for thinking Another rumor that was out was, and I want to say to Bishop Dowell, I appreciate your consideration. He's the same gentleman that cussed me out about the remarriage and divorce, the same one that said you can have three or four wives. 
They heard I was sick and made a short uh, statement over social media. He said he's praying for me, and he told his followers to pray for me. Someone said, do you think he was serious? I said, well, that's between him and God. But I appreciate the gesture. But he and others, I don't know where they got this from. He said, I took the jab. The jab is the COVID virus needle. And they said I got sick from it. <laughs> the jab, as you call it, I took that about two or maybe three years ago. So it wasn't that. It wasn't the jab. When we was in Richmond, Virginia, which was the last trip I was on, I never made it to Alaska, never made it to Canada. And as you know, I didn't make it to Portsmouth for the dedication. But in Richmond, Virginia, where we had a packed crowd as always, my wife and I and Shade was coming back on the plane that Monday, Monday morning, and a sharp pain hit me in my right collarbone. I thought maybe I moved the wrong way. I know I didn't move my wife the wrong way. Amen. So, uh, and then when I got home, as hot as it was that Monday, I got home about 12.30, by the time we got situated, maybe in about 1 o'clock, 1.30, a cold chill came over me, and I couldn't stop shivering. It was so cold, I put two blankets on me, and still was freezing cold. And it was about 85, almost 90 degrees outside. And then by that evening, shivering died down, but then fever hit me, about 102, which lasts about a week and a half and almost two weeks. And I was weak and had excruciating pain and whatnot, and appetite was gone. I told my wife, I feel like the way I did when I had pneumonia 27 years ago. She said, you think? I said, yeah, the pain moved from the collarbone to right here in my chest. So I went to my herbalist, Doc Burton, and he checked me out. I said, I think I got pneumonia. He said, you think? I said, in fact, I'm sure of it. I, I pointed to where I felt it. He said, uh, I'm going to send you to get some x-rays. I never laid up in the hospital, and I, and I didn't go to lay up in the hospital. He said, don't even let them keep you. I said, I'm not. My wife asked me, am I going to go to the hospital? I said, no, I'm not going to have them admit me in no hospital. I'm, I'm going to be home. So they took some x-rays, and Burton called me when he got them. He said, I never met a man who knew a body as well as you know yours. He said, you do have pneumonia, and it's in the exact spot where you were pointing at. So he gave me a vigorous herb regimen, and antibiotics and whatnot. This is the third time I had pneumonia. When I was a child, I used to hear when you get pneumonia the third time, you die from it. I used to hear that. But people have died from it the first time. I first had pneumonia in my early days of pastoring, still meeting in the basement. And I didn't go to the hospital at all. In fact, i never forget there was two balls of meat that formed on my glands. If I opened my mouth, you could see them. And I was about mm, 23 or 24. I wasn't married then. And I remember praying. My glands, my neck was so swollen. 
And I remember laying down at night, and I felt something coming out of my mouth, and I woke up, big clunks of blood was coming out of my mouth on the pillow. And I wiped it up, changed pillows, case and whatnot, and just prayed. I only was pastoring then, maybe about a year. And then when I saw the two big balls of meat, I prayed, and a few days later they went away, and they left two big holes in my glands. And God healed that, and those holes closed up. The second time I had pneumonia was 27 years ago. My wife was carrying my son Reds, who you call Cameron, and I want to wish him a happy 27th birthday. <laughs> that was the worst I've ever had it. The pneumonia covered the entire left side until the doctors, when they gave me x-rays, they said they couldn't hardly see my ribs or nothing. It was just covered. And I was out of church then about four months or more. I've never been that sick. To the degree, I couldn't barely walk. My wife, who was about seven or eight months pregnant, I couldn't get out the bed. If I laid down, she had to take me and lift my arms and put it around her neck and pull me up. And when she walked me back to the bedroom and sat, and I managed to sit on the bed, I was so weak I couldn't lift my legs. She had to lift my legs up and put them in bed for me. That's how bad shape I was the second go around. I was out of church, yeah, about four months, if not more, on Frankfurt Avenue then. And that was the time I experienced God's healing power in a way that I never did. I was laying there praying and asking God to heal me. And in the vision of the night, I saw a fire. i never forget it. Coming down from God out of heaven. And I saw my body laying there in the dream. And every time it would come down, go in my body, I would feel it. And when I woke up, I told my wife, I said, it, 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 you know how a wave move on water? Yeah. I, can act, I actually felt the power of God go from my head down to my feet and kept coming, hallelujah, <laughs> coming back up again. And it kept going on for a long time. Until God finally delivered me out of that. So, traveling extensively like we do, so many different climates, you go in excruciating heat, you come back in the cold, back in the heat, back in the cold, you get damp. You go into places, air conditioning blowing on you while your pores is open and your body, your resistance is low. And I was more exhausted than I realized I was. And uh, so when I canceled all traveling for the month of July this month to get rest, that was before I knew I had pneumonia. You can't get rest when you're sick. 
The rest start kicking if you get it then when you start feeling a little better. So again, the, someone commented sarcastically when they heard the announcement that I would be here today. They said, oh, I thought he was resting the whole month of July. Must have been a hoax. He's sick. He's sick. No, when I said I'm resting the whole month of July, I mean from traveling that month. Just wasn't going nowhere. You know, and I do think I'm much deserving of a break. In fact, I don't think it. I know I am. It don't take much for me. I don't need to go to no exotic place. Let me go home. No place like home. For me. So when I was uh, home and started to get better, my wife noticed I'm on a computer. She said, now nah, look, <laughs> you're supposed to be resting. I said, I know, but I got work to catch up on. And I'm not lifting nothing but a computer. So I had to do some conferences and while we was recuperating and my body is still mending even though I feel a whole lot better than what I was. And I thank all of you for your prayers. My brothers, my sisters, my friends and even my enemies. While we were recuperating we made settlement on a new temple. Amen. The Lord blessed us to buy a beautiful, large temple in Canada. Balcony and all. And we don't have a mortgage. Amen. Early in the week, I made settlement on another temple in Lafayette, Louisiana. And we don't have a mortgage. Early in the week, we put an offer in on a sign factory, about 11,000 square feet, so I can convert that to a church. Want to buy that so we don't have a mortgage. Early in the week, we found the church 30 minutes from Dallas, Texas. Looking to put an offering on that. So we don't have a mortgage. Also, we're looking to buy at least three to four more buses for different branch churches. I mean, Brother Evans found them for me. So when we start getting better, I'm, I'm just not made to lay around. For me, true rest is doing what you enjoy. And I enjoy fighting the devil. Amen. Fighting the devil. So, God willing, I'll be going to these locations to look at the churches. We have several building projects going on, as you know. Our first Holy Convocation next month for Malawi and Mozambique will still go on. I will send ministers in my place. Also, why it comes to mind, pray for Bishop Simbali. Uh, while I was ill, I received a text message that he, I think it was in Cape Town, South Africa. He had a heart attack there. Bishop Sinbale, who I appointed overseer of South Africa, Island of Mauritius, and also the African Island of Rodriguez. The last message I got indirectly from his wife, he's recuperating and he's doing a whole lot better. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So work still to go on. I want to thank all the ministers for your faithfulness. I want to thank Elder Etheridge, who we sent in our place. Thank Elder Etheridge. He told me he did a good job in Alaska. Alaska, God willing, we hope to get to you next year. We will go to a much larger city. In fact, I'm thinking of Anchorage, Alaska for next year. And uh, also for the first Holy Convocation of Canada, they told me it was packed from front to back, which is a blessing. So I do hope and pray, God willing, hopefully, if work is finished, our second Holy Convocation for Canada will be held in our new temple there where we can dedicate simultaneously. Also, in two more months, in September, it will be our first combined European conference. That will be held in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Now I do hope and pray that many brothers and sisters here in America, Canada, throughout the Caribbean and of course throughout all of Europe come to the first combined European conference. I often say that brothers and sisters here in America need to have a out of town experience. Yeah. Meet your other brothers and sisters in the other countries. So I do hope that many of you brothers and sisters and mothers and everybody get a chance to be with us while we be in uh, the Netherlands, God willing, the last weekend in September. <clears throat> October will be our convention, God willing, in Jamaica. Also our first convention and Trinidad. Also, we will be, God willing, in the Bahamas. November, I'll be somewhere. <laughs> December, I'm scheduled to be in Johannesburg, South Africa. I move that from next month to, God willing, and also the travel department. I meet with you. God willing, uh, if I'm done before 4 o'clock, I'll meet with you right after I'm done. God be our helper in the conference room. But I'm looking to dedicate our Johannesburg temple. I don't want to miss that. I just don't want to miss that, so I decided to move it to later on in the year. We will be dedicating that, I believe, the last week of uh, November. From there, I will fly, God willing, to Australia for the first Truth of God Conference of Australia. And then from there, we will fly to New Zealand to the first Truth of God Conference of New Zealand. And then from there, home. Amen. Home, I'll be here. All right, we have a five-week report of baptism. I'm glad that God gave us a gospel that keep everything busy whether I'm here or not. Still keeps everything busy. All right, let's give you this five-week report. 61 in headquarters, 23 in Bronx, 14 in Pine Bush, New York, 3 in New Brunswick, 7 in Del Mar, 22 in Baltimore, Four in Fredericksburg, 65 in Richmond. That's when we were in Richmond, Virginia. 65 was baptized. The dedication service of Portsmouth, Virginia, 58 was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. 23 in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Three in Charlotte, North Carolina. One in Raleigh, one in High Point, North Carolina. Seven in Oxford, North Carolina. Three in Charleston, South Carolina, nine in Columbia, three in Florence, South Carolina, five in Augusta, Georgia, three in Valdosta, Georgia, 19 in Miami, Florida, nine in Orlando, Florida, one in Tallahassee, nine in Mobile, Alabama, six in Montgomery, Alabama, one in Batesville, Mississippi, six in Jackson, Mississippi, 
15 in Memphis, Tennessee, 3 in Lafayette, Louisiana, 2 in Monroe, Louisiana, 1 in San Antonio, Texas, 24 in Dallas, Texas, 24 in Houston, 2 in Minnesota, 7 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, 6 in Portland, Oregon, 8 in Sacramento, California, 1 in Federal Way, State of Washington, 34 in Phoenix, Arizona, 8 in Columbus, Ohio, 12 in Cincinnati, Ohio, 2 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 14 in Detroit, International Baptisms, 4 in Germany, 3 in the, in the Netherlands, 4 in Birmingham, England, 15 in London, England, 73 in Ontario, Canada, 4 in the Philippines, 4 in Jainu, uh, Jainu, is that Jinu? Juno. Juneau, Alaska. Juneau, Alaska. <laughs> Three in Durban, South Africa. Four in Johannesburg, South Africa. Thirteen, Cape Town, South Africa. Twenty-one, Mozambique. Three, Malawi. One in Mauritius Islands. Five-week report, 684 souls. <laughs> Baptized in the name of of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. We thank God for all of you. Thank you for such a warm welcome. We miss all of you. You that are here and you that we can't see. Church is my life. I, I just can't see how people can lay out a church who's not sick and is able to be here and, and it don't bother them. And, and it doesn't bother them at all. I, I can't see that. When a thing is your life and you love it and you commit it to it, when your life evolve around it and you're not in it, you miss it. Amen. I repented of my sins, was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ at six. I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue at 11. Church is my life. I've been preaching between 47 and 48 years. I've been pastoring next year 40 years. Leading God people for 40 years. And we can see where God brought us. And I can see where God taken us. See, I, I not only can see where God brought us. Some men can say, I see where God brought us from. Uh -huh. But God has blessed me to see where we're taking you. That's a complete vision. <coughs> not only do I see where God has brought us and see where we are. I see where we're going. And I only can see that by God's permission because God haven't made me a blind leader. That's why you often hear me refer to the vision God gave me. And I won't, hear me good, won't let nobody and nothing detour me from this God-given vision. It's my compass. Without a vision, the Holy Scripture says that people perish. This is my compass. A man who don't have a vision for his family, where is he going to take him? <clears throat> if there's no husband there, the wife, that have no vision for her family, where she's going to take them? The preacher that don't have a God-given vision, I don't see a feeling. Feeling is not a vision. Feeling can be a headache. I think of the song that Elder Etheridge sung. He changed the word. We used to sing, I got a feeling that everything going to be all right. Well, you can be deceived by feeling. So Elder Etheridge changed it and said, I have faith. Well, that's, that's Bible. I have faith everything going to be all right. 
I love that better. All right, I want to go to work. Romans chapter 6. No. <laughs> Endure hardness. I want to work on endurance today. <coughs> we all got something to endure. Oh, yes. I see you're ready, aren't you? Help of the Lord, Pastor. Over five I'm weeks. I'm glad you're back, you're back Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> glad to see you, William. Glad to see you, Pastor. All right, family, let's. I can see we need an apostle, Pastor. <laughs> you got to have you one. You got to have one. And uh, this is one apostle that's not dead yet. <laughs> that's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Someone made a comment and said if he was an apostle, he wouldn't have been sick. Mm. Now, the only one I read about that can't get sick mm -hmm. is God. That's right. In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 13. <laughs> Follow me. 2 Kings, chapter 13, and we'll start at verse 14. Listen at this. Now, Elisha was fallen sick. Elisha, the man of God, the prophet. The prophet. Fell sick. Now, Elisha was fallen sick <coughs> of his sickness. Of his sickness. Whereof he died. Do you hear that? That's right. So, uh, because you're a man of God, they ain't got nothing to do no. with you not getting sick. No. So I didn't get sick from the jab. <laughs> I got sick from traveling. That's right. My resistance got low. Laboring with people. That's right. Most preachers won't labor with the people, but they'll rob from you. All right, follow me in the Bible. Now in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2. Listen at this. And we'll start at verse 1. All right. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Do you hear this? Amen. This is the desire of the apostle. That's right. Now, therefore, therefore my, son, my son, be strong. Now I'm talking to the church. That's right. All of God's people. That's right. God wants us to be what? Be strong. How? In the grace that is in Christ Jesus. <coughs> God's grace is God's mercy. That's right. Be strong in it. That's right. Be sound in it. Yeah. Don't be unstable in it. No. You know, an unstable minded person, a person that's double minded. They are unstable, the Bible says, in all his ways. All his ways. Listen at this. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, uh -huh. the same commit thou to faithful One men. One of your brothers give me a bottle of water. I hope you would have some out here already. All right. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many the witnesses. The things that you heard of me. Among many witnesses. Among many witnesses. Thank you, brother. The same commit thou to faithful men. Give it to faithful men. Who shall be able to teach others also. Mm -hmm. Thou therefore endure hardness. As a good soldier of Faithful Jesus brothers. Faithful. Faithful men. Now he didn't say these faithful men necessarily were preachers. No. These were brothers that was taught. Listen at this. And the things that thou hast heard of me among that many witnesses. That you heard of me. Among many among witnesses. Among many witnesses. The same. Saying, commit thou to faithful commit men. Commit thou to faithful preachers. Faithful men. Faithful men. Who shall be able to teach others also. You know, if a brother retain this message in him. That's right. Not just retain it, but baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And know how to explain what he retained. That's it. And is humble with it. That's right. Can take praise when people say, I enjoyed you. Yeah. When people make the mistake and call him elder, and you know he's just a brother. That's right. 
He won't say, oh man, they was calling me Elder Williams. <laughs> That's right. Woo. That's right. I must really did something. Really did something. <coughs> you're nothing when you think you're something. That's right. Hear me good. The same commit thou to faithful men. What are you faithful to? The teaching. That's it. You don't lose conscious because you get a few little compliments. That's right. Get me good. The same commit thou to faithful men. And what? Who shall be able to teach who others also. Who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore. Listen at this. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. What is it, Williams? Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. That's what I want to work on. Amen. Endure hardness. 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 How? As a good soldier. As a good soldier. Of, not just a soldier. A good soldier. Nor just of any kind of soldier. But a good soldier of Jesus Christ. You belong to Jesus Christ. That's right. I want to be a good soldier. A good soldier. Amen. Don't brag you're a soldier. The question is, what kind? <laughs> that's right. If you're a good soldier, that's different from any other soldier. You know, when you're a good soldier, good soldier. of Jesus Christ, you won't AWOL. No. No. Hmm. You won't backslide from his military. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. I'd rather be weaker than the weakest child of God on earth mm -hmm. than a wall on God. That's right. No matter how much you jump and shout and speak in tongue and wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. That's right. Are you a good soldier? Good soldier. <clears throat> when you're a good soldier, you will take hardship. That's right. How many here ever was in the military? Raise your hand. Amen. Any sisters was in the military? All right. Hmm. When you was in the military in boot camp, did you wear a ballerina dress? <laughs> did you put on ballet shoes? <laughs> did you wear pink? <laughs> you had to put on what everybody else had on. That's right. There was no separate boot camp for the women. No. Than it is for the men. So holiness is a training ground. Oh, yes. For endurance. That's right. Not for loud talk. No. Not for long speeches. Oh, no. Training ground. Training. How long will you endure? That's it. <coughs> Some people testify. I don't care what the devil brings. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Hmm. Hmm. You sure you don't care? Sure you don't. Wait till you get at a certain place in God. That's right. Get some experience in you. That's right. Before you declare you don't care <laughs> what the devil brings. He that has no experience <coughs> knows. He, listen, listen, hear, hear this. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 34 and verse <clears throat> 10. He that has no experience no experience knoweth little. Well, may the Lord walk between <laughs> right. me and thee. That's right. Why we absent one from another. That's right. You might as well get a benediction on that. On that. Because there's a lot of people who don't have a lot of experience, and they got so much to say about everything and everybody. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiastes, <laughs> chapter 34, and that was at verse 10. Hear this. He that has no experience. He that have. No experience. You know, when you just come into the knowledge of this, mm -hmm. you obey. That's right. Take your time and <clears throat> be fed. That's right. Don't try to keep up with nobody. No. Don't have the desire to be like nobody. That's right. 
If you are encouraged by somebody else's testimony because they fast three days and three nights, mm -hmm. four days and four nights, <laughs> if you haven't done one day, don't try to do two. That's right. Because you got lifetime in this. That's right. You have to run so that 10 years later, yeah. you can still say, I'm in holiness. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You want to run so that five years later, yeah. you can still say, oh, yeah. even if you're weaker, five years later than you was when you first got started. Wonderful. At least you can say, I meant holiness. That's right. I'm weak, but I'm still here. That's right. <coughs> Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Do you hear this? He that has no experience knoweth little. So if you don't have no experience, don't talk much. That's right. Devil will call you bluff. Yes, he will. Don't talk about nothing and nobody. That's right. Do you? That's right. Or I thank God because what you may say about somebody else, you may find yourself in the same predicament. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 34, <clears throat> up at verse 9. Listen at all this Bible. A man that hath traveled knoweth many things. That's right. <clears throat> Amen. A man that hath traveled. In other words, a man that hath a lot of experience. Knoweth many things. Know quite a bit. And he that has much experience. He that have much experience. Will declare wisdom. Will declare wisdom. He that has no experience. Oh. Amen. He that has no experience. You see, a lot of folk may have natural experience. Right. But they don't have a lot of spiritual experience. That's right. <clears throat> and then there's some folk that have a lot of spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. But don't have a lot of natural experience. That's right. They have those that have both. Yeah. Spiritual and natural. That's right. Listen at this. He that has no experience knoweth little. He that have no experience knoweth you know little. little. But he that hath traveled is full of prudence. He that hath traveled, he that hath been around. Is full of prudence. Full of prudence. When I traveled, I saw many things. I can say that. Oh, yes. God hath made us a world traveler. That's right. I can't say that he sent me to preach to the world mm -hmm. and I sit at one spot. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I think of the different areas that God has opened up for us. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yes. Open up Dubai and the Congo and, and Ethiopia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Alaska. Canada, Peru, yeah. Puerto Rico, Denmark, Paris, France, Belgium, England, all of America, South America. Yeah. There's not one country, yeah. not one continent. Amen. You know, one thing I'm thankful for, the truth of God is literally established now on every continent in the world. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful. Every continent, the truth of God is established there. Amen. Not by works of righteousness. Oh, no. That we have done, but by his mercy, Paul said, he saved us. That's right. And we are determined. That's right. Keep working. Keep working. I, mean, I, I, I don't care how old I get until I get so old, <laughs> I'm wheelchair bound. That's right. Then we'll modify the pulpit. That's right. Yeah. Amen. We'll modify it all. Or oh, give me a different kind of chair so I can sit up high. That's right. <laughs> or oh, move the pulpit all together and modify it. Roll my wheelchair so I can sit up under a table. That's right. I'll be rolling right with you too. Roll right with me, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
Found me one. I'll be rolling right with hey, you. Hey, man, have a wheelchair race. That's right. See, you're going to get to the Bible first. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Amen. You have to be committed. That's right. Now, hear me good. That's right. Many people baptized in the name of Jesus Christ have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Start out committed That's right. to God. That's right. But over a period of time, <clears throat> the commitment weakened. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. What weakened it? That's Give right. me the book of Mark. In the book of St. Mark chapter 4. The lust of other things other came things. in your life. That's right. That's and right. you gave those things more attention. That's right. Then you gave God until... Now those things became a distraction. That's right. And besides bringing you close to God, they're pulling you from God. That's right. Hear me, God. Mark chapter 4, we're starting at verse 18. Follow me. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word. Such as hear the word. And the cares of this world. The cares. Do you hear this? Amen. Everybody hear you that are watching. Amen. Examine yourself. That's right. <clears throat> Have the cares of this world. And the deceitfulness, and the deceitfulness, of, riches, deceitfulness of riches. And the lust of other things. And the desire of other things. Entering in. That came in you. Choke the word. And it becometh unfruitful. Amen. Have it choke the word of God choke that you receive. That's right. Now are you damaged goods? Amen. You know, when God gives you blessings, yeah. materialistic things, yeah. He don't give you those things for you to glory in it. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. Your cars, your house, your suit of clothing, your bank, I don't care about that. You got it fine. Fine. But when it have you, you change. That's right. You know, as close as Williams and I am, mm -hmm. all of a sudden if he start making a few hundred thousand dollars until now, he don't even talk to me. Mm. A few hundred thousand dollars ain't no money today. No. Now he don't even talk to me. Amen. Amen. He act different. Yeah. He moved and got a bigger house. Went, <clears throat> went from three bedroom to seven. Mm -hmm. Change. That's right. Too blind to realize uh -huh. somebody got more than you. Oh, yes. Right. Right. Take God and what you have. You won't have that always. That's right. Right. Always prioritize. That's right. I think moreover where God brought us from the basement. Oh yes. Amen. A pot of boiling water is what we use for heat. That's right. Amen. Service going on. Different ones had to go back and check that pot. <laughs> Fill it up with water. That's right. Then we went from the basement to Briar Road where we rented heat. Amen. Amen. Head never got swollen. No. Never forgot those five years in the basement. That's right. Took us from Briar Road to Frankfurt Avenue. Oh, yes. Where the truth of God became world renowned. That's right. Kept my head small. That's right. Took us from Frankfurt and brought us here. Oh, yes. Where we can hold a few thousand. That's right. Kept my head small. Yeah. Now I'm waiting for him to take this away. Mm -hmm. So I say, what? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm waiting for him to take this whole structure away. <laughs> 
so I can build from the ground something to hold at least six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand. Wonderful. Amen. My head don't grow with it. No. I want to stay humble. Humble. That give me, hallelujah, growing room. That's right. Thank God, when you get larger than God in your thinking, you forget who brought you where you are. That's right. And let me say this. That's right. Never forget those that help you to get where you are today. That's right. That's right. There might be the same ones you might need. Oh yeah. Years later. Oh yes. Old folk used to say it this way. Be careful how you treat folk going up the ladder. Right. Maybe the same ones you're going to need on your way down the ladder. That's right. That's right. Amen. False prophet that I was under treated a dog better than he treated me. Yeah. <clears throat> he wished death upon me and my wife and we wasn't even married. Oh yes. And did it openly and publicly. Yeah. He said if Brother Gino and Sister Darlene get married, I pray. He said, I pray. Who prays for that? Mm. He said, I pray they drop dead at the altar. Yes, he did. He silenced me two years from preaching Bible. Yeah. Because what I preach contradicts what he preached. That's right. And when I stood on the Bible as a young teenager. That's right. I set to my seal that God was true. Was true. The Bible says he that receives testimony has set to his seal God is true. that God is true. God is true. The last days of my former pastor mm -hmm. was sheer misery. Yeah. Agonizing pain. Mm -hmm. Suffering for him. Yes. Until he was crying almost like a baby. Yeah. Begging to be taken out the hospital. He was in excruciating pain. Same one that he threw under the bus he called for. Begging me for repentance, apologizing. He asked me to pray for him. I prayed for him in the hospital. He got better. The moment he got better, he diverted back to his same foolish ways. My Lord. When he went back to his same ways, God smote him again. My Lord. Called me the second time. I went back again. Didn't look at how he treated me. No, he didn't. I don't think enough of nobody that I can't forgive you. That's right. Amen. Amen. Never allow your emotions Hold you hostage. That's right. Until you can't forgive anybody and everybody. That's right. If you want God to forgive you, you must be able to forgive them. That's right. You can sit around and say, well, God got to help me with that. All right, but why are you struggling? <laughs> why are you struggling? Waiting. To be able to forgive somebody. Yeah. No repentance you give is yeah. recognized by heaven. For if you forgive me. Did you hear me? That's right. That's right. If you cannot forgive that man, that woman, whatever it is. God does not forgiving you. That's right. You can get on your knees and repent all you want. Yeah. God turned that death ear. Yes, he will. To your unrepentant heart. That's right. Let's get Bible for this. St. Matthew chapter 6, we're at verse 14. Hear me. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. How plain is it? Plain. Somebody say, well, I got to work on it. All right, well, you keep working. <laughs> That's right. And you bear in mind, while you keep working and sinning at the same time, yeah. there's no forgiveness coming to you. That's right. I'm waiting on God to move. Uh-uh. You got to move. That's right. Before he moves. That's right. Uh -huh. For if you forgive men their trespasses. Or take God if you forgive men. Their trespasses. They're wrong. Your heavenly father will also forgive you. Then God will forgive you. 
But if you forgive not men their if trespasses, you don't forgive them of their wrong. Neither and will the your Bible didn't say choose. No. What you gonna forgive them about and what you gonna hold on to? That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. All right, listen. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, if you forgive not, Amen. Their trespasses. Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Are you listening? You that are here, you that are watching. That's right. Whatever. Whatever. You're struggling with forgiving that man or that woman or those people. That's right. If you haven't forgave them yet. That's right. Then your sins, yeah. I don't care what it is. Oh, yes. They're still hanging on you fresh. That's right. I don't care if you fast. I don't care if you pray. The Bible don't change. But if you forgive not men if their trespasses, not, their trespasses. If you forgive not their trespasses. Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. And that made you a sinner right now. Right now. Yeah, if you're baptized and claim you got the Holy Ghost, you're nothing but a sinner. That's it. That's right. And this is why some of you are not getting no type of answers or blessings from God. That's right. Because you're in your own way. That's right. Your own emotion. Yeah. Your own feeling about somebody. Yeah. But I can't forgive them. I don't know about that. Who cares what you don't know? The Bible spoke. But if you forgive and not if God speak, we are the sheep of the shepherd. We got the fallen line. That's right. There's not an enemy that I've had in the past or have in the present mm -hmm. that have done me wrong yes. that I can't forgive them can't for. Forgive. And brother, I have went through things. Oh, yes. But I haven't found a person. Where in my life, mm -hmm. where they are so important, my life going to revolve around them. That's right. No, you ain't that important. No. I'm going to forgive you sincerely and keep going. That's right. Why? That's right. I want heaven, glory to God, yeah. to open up for me. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You cannot be saved. Holding things against people. No. You can't. You can't. Oh, your fasting ain't going nowhere. That's right. You might as well eat all the grits and cheese you can. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Your fasting don't move heaven. Don't move. God don't recognize your fast. He don't recognize your prayer. He don't recognize your service that you're rendering to him until That's right. you repent and forgive that man, that woman, those people. That's right. That's right. That you didn't suppose they did. As, uh, forgive them anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Forgive what they've done to you. That's right. Because a person died, you can still hold it against the dead. That's true. Yes, she can. That's right. That's true. Pastor Jenny, I know what you say is true, but you don't know what they've done. What they've done is in the Bible. That, that's right. <clears throat> if they stole from you, if you were raped, mm -hmm. oh, I know that's hard to forgive. Oh, you. yes. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. Somebody says rape in the Bible? Give me Abner. Abner. Mm -hmm. And Tamar. That's right. That's right. The incestuous rape. Yes. David's son mm -hmm. raped his own sister. That's right. In the book of 2 Samuel. Read quick so I can go back to endurance. 2 Samuel chapter 13, we're at verse 1. Well, this fall under endurance because I can't imagine. I can't say I, I can imagine. I know I can't imagine. No. How a woman feel mm. that was raped. But I can say this, the God of heaven can bring such comfort oh. to your mind Hallelujah. 
and to your heart. Yeah. And God can deliver you from the feeling My of Lord. actual being raped mm -hmm. until you feel like you never was touched. Wonderful. Yeah, man. What? Yeah. What is rape? Rape is when that man forced himself on you. Right. Not when you agree. <laughs> That's I right. Say, I ain't no rape. No. Now, if a man rape you, mm -hmm. you don't want to be around that man. That's right. But how in the world are you going to say a man rape you? You keep riding with him. You calling him still. He calling you. You accepting his calls. My Lord. You go out to dinner once in a while. That's no, that ain't no rape. No. You call it that because things went sour. That's right. A woman that's rape don't want to be around that man from that day forward. That's right. You still riding around with him, going out to dinner, going to his house. He buy you things, you take it. She won't even take money from him. No, no. You take a money from a man that raped you? That raped you. Mm. Yeah, may God. Second Samuel chapter 13, we'll start at verse 1. And a lot of innocent men in jail yeah. that was falsely accused. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Very good. Second Samuel chapter 13, we'll start at verse 1. Listen at this. And it came to pass after this that Absalom, the son of David, had a fair sister. Yeah. Whose name was Tamar. And Amnon, the son of David, loved her. Hmm. And Amnon was so vexed that he fell sick for his sister Tamar. He was vexed. vexed. He got obsessed with her. Yeah. Wow. Imagine getting obsessed with your own flesh and blood. That's right. That you imagine things, dream about mm. her, dream about him. Lord. But it's common. It's common. Amen. Amen. It's common among some cultures. And it's common among some religions. That's right. Yeah, may good. And Amnon was so vexed that he fell sick <clears throat> for his sister Tamar. Yes. For she was a virgin. And Amnon thought of Now hold it. Mm-hmm. Back in those days when a woman was a virgin, she wore garments of multicolors. That's right. Mixed color garment. That's right. Amen. And then when her virginity was violated, she tore the garment. Yeah. Then covered herself in sackcloth and in ashes. That's right. Rape is not consensual fornication. <laughs> no. Rape is fornication against the will of the woman. That's right. Let me make that play. That's right. I didn't stutter. <laughs> Not you're having consensual sex no. and then you yell rape when you hear somebody coming. That's right. All of a sudden you hear footsteps. <laughs> oh, rape! No, that's a lie. That's a lie. And you can't say he raped for you and you on top of him, woman. <laughs> that's the wrong position wrong, for rape. Wrong position. Get me? That's right. Oh, I'm going to detail this until I cast that lying demon out. That's right. I know well, you on top of your rapist. <laughs> Get me. <laughs> That's right. You know, many that are watching will find this offensive, but it's true. It's true. Yeah, me good. And Amnon was so vexed that he felt sick for his sister Tamar, for she was a virgin. Yes. And Amnon thought it hard for him to do anything to her. But what? But Amnon had a friend. Ha! <laughs> Amen. You always got somebody that can lead you to hell. That's right. Uh, do you hear this? But Amnon had a friend. Amnon had a friend. Whose name was Jonadab. Whose name was Jonadab. The son of Shemaiah's son of brother. Son of Shemaiah. And Jonadab was a very subtle man. Sneaky, <laughs> subtle, wicked. 
That's right. A snake. That's right. Do you know people like this? I ain't talking about someone you feel as though it's like this. I said, did you know no. them? Right. Speak what you know. That's right. Hear this. And he said unto him, why art thou being the king's son lean from day to day? Wilt thou not tell me? Yeah. And What's Amnon the matter with you? <laughs> That's right. What got you so messed up day every time I see you? You all messed up. What's going on? Why don't you tell me? I'm of the devil. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Listen. And Amnon said unto him, I love Tamar, my brother Absalom's sister. I love Tamar. My brother, my brother Absalom's sister. Absalom's sister. I'm in love with my sister. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Want to keep it all in the family. Amen. Get me. And Jonadab said unto him, lay thee down on thy bed. Wait a minute, lay down. And make thyself sick. Pretend you're ill. And when thy You always got someone that can advise you. Advise you. To be a fool. That's right. He let him know I got the plan. That's right. You lay down. And make thyself sick. Make yourself sick. You do it. <laughs> Amen. Ten like you're sick. And when thy Ten what? And when thy father cometh to see thee, say unto him. When your when your father comes to see you, you say you tell you tell Pop. I pray thee, let my sister Tamar hey, come. Let my sister Tamar come. And give me so meat. So she can give me meat. And dress the meat in my sight. Let her come feed me. I want to see her prepare food in my sight. I want to be looking at her so it can fuel my lust. My Lord. Glory to God. I told you the Bible covers everything. That's right. Hear this. Let my sister Tamar come and give me meat and dress the meat in my sight. Yes. That I may see it and eat it at I her hand. I want to see it. <laughs> Amen. I want to eat it. At her hand. I want her to feed me. My Lord. Mm -hmm. So Amnon lay down and made himself sick. Yeah, he made himself sick. And when the, the devil didn't do it, God <laughs> didn't right. do it. That's right. He concluded, I think I'll be sick today. <laughs> That's right. Many people do the same thing. Oh, yeah. Pretend they're ill to get you come to the house and pray. That's true. That's true. Amen. 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 That's why I tell the ministers, if you go to a sister's house or just a woman. <clears throat> house and pray. If you're married, take your wife. If your wife can't go, take some brothers and a mother. That's right. Oh, mother. Oh, mother. Don't take no young sister with you. No. Take a mother so old. Amen. <laughs> Until they hurt you to wink your eye at her. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, mother. Oh, mother. Amen. Until if you think of touching her, she gives up the ghost. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Huh? Amen. Hear me good. So Amnon lay down and made himself sick. I had, when I preached this some years ago, somebody made a comment on social media. Well, why would you want brothers to do that? If he got the Holy Ghost, it's a keeper. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is a keeper if you allow it to keep. Allow it. The right. reason why is wise to have a mother with you. You go to the hospital, the woman may be indecent in her bed. That's right. And that mother can go in the room before you. Yeah. Fix the clothes up, pull the clothes up on her. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You go in there, pray short, precise to the point. That's right. If she got breast cancer, you ain't got to lay your hands on her breast. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Amen. 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 You got breast cancer and some preacher come in there preacher. and he asks you, where do it hurt? Right here, Bishop. <laughs> That's right. That's right. On the left side, On Bishop. On the left side. Very precise. Huh? That's right. That prayer going to be long from that sloppy mouth, Bishop. That's right. 
Amen. Amen. But I'm saying sound funny, but coming up in falsehood, yeah. I have witnessed these devil preachers brag about doing stuff like this. My Lord. Brag about it. Laugh about it. My Lord. Amen. Amen. Woman, hip out of place. She don't need you to lay hands on that hip to pray for it. No. Got a tumor on her thigh. Don't need your hands under the cover. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen, I said. Amen. All under the cover, grabbing the thigh. Grab Tomorrow, I'm in the name <laughs> of Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't squeeze the Sherman. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's right. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> oh, yes. We're going to knock the fun out these knock, false knock prophets. Knock the fun out. Okay. Amen. That's right. Come on, son. So Ammon lay down and made himself sick. Ammon, your bishop, viewer. Mm -hmm. He's a man of your bishops. Oh, yeah. Pretend that he was sick, sick. so you will come to his house. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. So Abner lay down and made himself sick. Talking about daughters of Zion. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Daughters of hell. That's right. Amen. Hear me good. And when the king was come to see him, Abner said unto the king. What? I pray thee, let Tamar, my sister, come. Uh -huh. And make me a couple of cakes in my sight that I may eat it at her hand. I got to use this so he... <laughs> He's bothering me. Yeah, I got him. You got, you got him. <laughs> he done landed on my head about four times. I'm tired of it. <laughs> All right, come on. So Amnon lay down and made himself sick. Yes. And when the king was come to see him, uh -huh. Amnon said unto the king, I pray thee, let Tamar, my sister, come. Yes. And make me a couple of cakes in my sight, that I may eat it at her hand. Listen at this. Then David sent home to Tamar, saying, Go now to thy brother Amnon's house and dress him meat. Then what? So Tamar went to her brother Amnon's house. And he was laid down, and she took flour and kneaded it. Yes. And made cakes in his sight and did bake the cakes. Then what? And she took a pan and poured them out before him. Uh -huh. But he refused to eat. And Amnon said, how about all men from me? Wait a minute. Everyone that's in the room, all you fellas, I want y'all to leave. How about? Well, I, I'm about to put my demonic sickness in action now. That's right. Hear this, viewers. And they went out every man from him. Then what? And Amnon said unto Tamar, bring the meat into the chamber. Oh, come on in here. That I may eat of thine hand. That I can eat from your hand. And Tamar took the cakes which she had made and brought them into the chamber to Amnon, her brother. Listen closely. Then what? And when she had brought them unto him to eat, he took hold of her. Uh, what? And when she had brought them unto him to eat, he took hold of her. It isn't that she hugged him. No. He and took, he hugged her back. He took hold of her. Not at all. No. He took hold of her. Took hold of her. Mm hmm And said unto her, come lie with me, come my sister. Come on, lie with me, my what? My sister. Wow. Do you hear it? Amen. And what was her response? And she answered him, nay, my brother, do not force she didn't me. say, not yet. No. Everybody ain't gone yet. No. She didn't say the lights are not dim enough. <laughs> That's right. That's right. She didn't say, let me check all the rooms first, make sure there's no soldiers lingering around. That's right. In other words, rape, there is no consent. No. Or her part whatsoever. That's right. Because there are some women, they like when you grab them. Yeah. And there are some women, there are some men love when you grab him. That's right. You grab him, he said, take me. <laughs> <laughs> you almost sound like James Brown. <laughs> take me. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. What did he say? And when she had brought them unto him to eat, he took hold of her. He took hold of her. And said unto her, come lie with me, my sister. 
rape, there is no cooperation no. from the other. No. Am I clear? That's right. There is no cooperation no. from the other. Amen. Otherwise than that, you're a liar. Oh, yeah. Hear me good. And she answered him, nay, my brother. No, my do, brother. Do not force me. I came up with a family. Mm. We used to live on the same block we lived. And they believed. All the sons and the father believed that children should be, it should be an in-house thing. My Lord. It must have been about 15 or 16 in the family. Mm. And all the, the brothers believe in having sex with their blood sisters. My Lord. In house. In house. Amen. Mm. There are churches that teach this. That's right. And use the Bible. That's right. Where in the Old Testament, where they went amongst family, yeah. but it was a shadow. Right. Of good things to come because in the New Testament it represented marrying only in the body of Christ. That's it. Your brother and your sister in the body of Christ, not outside of the body. That's right. But a scripture that's prominent among false prophets mm -hmm. is when Lot's daughters yeah. got them drunk. That's right. And then laid with their father. The father. And one daughter, son name was Moab, Moab, who is the father of the Moabites. Mm -hmm. The other son is Ammon, Ammon, who is the father of the Ammonites. That's right. So they use scripture yeah. of events that's past and not allowed today. That's right. To justify themselves. Of yesterday. That's right. Come on real quick, Williams. And she answered him, Nay, my brother, do not force me. Yes. For no such thing ought to be done in Israel. Do not thou this folly. Yes. And I, whither shall I cause my shame to go? And, and as for thee, thou shalt be as one of the fools in Israel. Wait a minute. As for you, what would you be? Thou shalt be as one of the fools You'll be a fool in Israel. In Israel. Now therefore I pray thee, speak unto the king. Go, go talk to the king. For he will not withhold me from thee. Go ask him. Howbeit he would not hearken unto a voice. Do you hear this? That's right. That's right. You see, when a man aims is to rape you, yeah. he don't hear no. No, no, he won't. The Bible says what? Howbeit he would not hearken. He would not hearken unto her voice. That's right. You can say, no, 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 no. He ain't paying you no mind. No mind. And she going to be fighting. That's right. Scratching. Yeah. Kicking. How's it raping? You got your tongue in his mouth. <laughs> you kissing him. Pulling him closer to you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, me good. Yeah, me good. Yeah, me good. That's, a, That's right. That is not rape. No. Pulling him closer to you. Your nail marks is in his back. No, that's not real. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. Thank God, I had no tickets on working on this, but I'm going to follow the moving of heaven. Amen. Because I'm pretty sure there are millions that are watching now, they lied. Mm-hmm. And you got to repent for that lie. That's right. Where there's rape, there's no cooperation. No. You ain't kissing him. He no. raped you Friday. And you're back there again Saturday. No way. And spending the night over his house. That's right. Or meeting up after the so-called rape in hotels. Yeah. Amen. I'm back. <laughs> That's not rape. No. No, no. Amen. Amen. A 
woman that's raped by a man, she got to ask God to help her not to hate him. Oh, yeah. She hates him. That's the truth of it. That's the truth she hates him. That's right. Because she feel violated. That's right. And she was violated. Yeah. You ain't violated and you snap, unsnapping your bra. No. <laughs> you ain't violated and he bought you a negligee to put on and you put it on and That's you right. ask him, how, how do I look? Huh. <laughs> you ain't violated. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Good. And I, whither shall I cause my shame to go? And as for thee, thou shalt be as one of the fools in Israel. Yes. Now therefore I pray thee, speak unto the king, for he will not withhold me from thee. You been raped by that fella? You ain't in his car. He ain't dry. He ain't right. He ain't taking you home. Because <laughs> you feel violated. That's right. How can you get in the car? How can he take you home? How can you sit in the front seat? How can you call him? How can y'all sit and talk so casual? Talk. Go, to, go to lunch. Go to dinner. Go to breakfast. That's right. That's no more rape than I'm high. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hear me, good listeners. Now, therefore, I pray thee, speak unto the king, for he will not withhold me from thee. What is it? Howbeit he would not hearken unto a voice. He would, would well, not hearken. Wicked man, <coughs> mind is made up, oh, yeah. and he fulfilled the words of Solomon. He's like an ox. That's right. To the trough. To the trough. He don't hear no at all. That, that's right. Do you hear this? Howbeit he would not hearken. He will not hearken. Unto her voice. Unto her voice. But being stronger than she. What? But being stronger than she. What did he do? Forced her and lay with her. That's rape. That's rape. He forced himself on you. And he forced you. That's right. Forced. Man. That's right. Not change position. He's sitting in the chair and you straddle him. There ain't no force. No. No. I'm going to make it so clear you make got to clear. go to hell. That's right. That is not force. No way. You coming back with a gown on Friday, another color on Saturday, no another way. color Sunday night after evening wish up? Oh. What? What? <laughs> there ain't no force. No. no. That's just fornication. That's it. Call it for what it is. That's right. Fornication. Amen. 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 Undoubtedly, hmm. somebody's guilty here today. That's right. You made a rape claim and you lied. That's right. On some brother. Amen. Were you riding with them afterward? That's right. Did y'all eat dinner any time after that? After that. Did he take you home? Mm. Was you on the phone talking? My Lord. Amen. I thought y'all was glad I was back. <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. Boy, that God, the amen is done dropping <laughs> like the stock market. <laughs> Amen. I'm a man that's all about truth. That's right. The Bible says don't bear false witness. Bear false if witness. you didn't witness or something, don't you say you saw it. That's right. Go ahead, man. Don't say you know something and you don't. That's right. Speak what you know. Speak what you know. Not what you heard. Amen. Amen. That's why if there's a rape accusation in church, I got to hear both sides. That's right. 
I ain't hearing one side. And I, I ain't hearing one side of nobody. No. I got to hear both, both sides. That's right. Because the Bible explains what it is. What it is. Do you hear it? Howbeit he would not hearken unto a voice, but being stronger than she, forced her. No, they had a kind of like dinner. But being stronger than she, forced her. And left. I, they went to Golden Corral afterwards. But being stronger than she, forced her. Went to Cracker Barrel. But being stronger than she, forced her. No, he, she was driving with him and asked him to pull up at McDonald drive through and got some fries. But being stronger than she, forced her. Except the flowers from him afterward. But being stronger than she, forced her. He bought her some shoes and she's wearing them. Being stronger than she, forced her. She still got the trinkets and trophies that he bought. If a man raped you, you don't want nothing from him. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. That's right. Howbeit he would not hearken unto her voice. He will not. A oh, rapist don't, don't hear you. He ain't paying you no mind. No. He's greedy. He's greedy. And he's focused on what he wants. That's it. That's right. You ain't grabbing him and pulling him to you. Baby. <laughs> no. Not that? No. No way. And when things over, you ain't laying your head on his chest. That's right. Laying, he laying in bed, you laying in bed all on his chest, all on his rubbing bed. your hands on his chest. That's right. <laughs> Ax, axing each other. Are you tired? Oh, oh, oh. oh, Lord. Go ahead, Pastor. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's why they don't like this program because it's so clear. Oh, yeah. So straight. Oh, yes. Amen. Bible said, All liars That's right. shall have their part in the lake. In the lake. If someone truly raped you, you ain't going to wait for God to show somebody else. You no. are anxiously telling. That's right. You are reported. That's right. Quick! Amen. 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 Now he compliments your shape after when you <laughs> stop. <laughs> no. Am I right? That's right. This is sound. Oh yes. Amen. Amen. You gave that woman money. Don't say she stole from you. That's right. And you took your time and folded it up and wrapped it up in a rubber band huh. and gave it to her. That's right. And because she wouldn't give you what you want afterward, you said, man, she stole my money. Yeah. Right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Do you hear the Bible talking? Howbeit he would not hearken unto How a be voice. Howbeit he would not hearken to a voice. But being stronger than stronger. she. Stronger. Forced her. Forced her. And lay with her. And laid with her. Then Amnon hated her exceedingly. You hear that? That's right. He got what he wanted. Then what? Hated her exceedingly. After he forced himself on her, then what? Hated her exceedingly. Please tell us how great was the hate. So that the hatred whereof he hated her was greater than the love wherewith he had loved her. Amen. Do you hear that? That's right. He despised and hated, hated. his own sister. After he raped her. That's right. Do you hear me? Then Amnon hated her exceedingly. And what? So that the hatred whereof, whereof, wherewith he hated her and was greater than the love wherewith he had loved her. Then what? And Amnon said unto her, Arise, be gone. Get out. That's right. I don't use you and abuse you. And abused you. Now get out. Get out. 
Amen. I told you the Bible covered everything. Oh, yes. So if this has been the experience of any woman. Yeah. This come under endurance. Oh, yes. And if this is something you endure, God can take that heart and mind that felt violated mm. and that was violated. And God can heal you in such a manner. And by the time God done with you, he don't bother you no more. My Lord. But don't you call it something when it wasn't. That's right. That's right. When you're fighting in that situation, the fight is for real. Oh, yes. You ain't laughing. <laughs> Stop. You, you ain't foreplay. That's right. Ain't no foreplay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you ain't really struggling. Stop. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. You don't go around telling people you were raped when you know you weren't. You weren't. You don't blacken a person's name when you participated. That's right. You don't say a sister took advantage of you mm. because you refuse to cooperate to give you what you want. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, me good. How be it he would not hearken unto her voice. He will not listen to her. But being stronger than being she stronger forced her. Stronger than her. Forced her and lay with her. Lay with her. Then Amnon hated her exceedingly. How great was that hate, Will? So that the hatred wherewith he hated her was greater than the love wherewith he had loved Read her. fast. And Amnon said unto her, Rise, be gone. Get out of here. And she said unto him, There is no cause. This evil... Ain't no reason for you to do this to me. Now you're going to throw me out in public? That's right. That's right. You're going to do this to me now and throw me out in public? Throw you out. Amen. You don't marry a brother to ruin his life? <laughs> That's right. You don't marry a woman because she made you feel good physically. Mm -hmm. You can feel good physically in a dream. That's right. That's right. Amen. You can travel places. You can't afford to go in a dream. In <laughs> a dream. That's right. Look past shape. Look past eye complexion. Look past hair. Yeah. Look at God first. First, look at God. That's it. Amen. Amen. Anybody can pretend they love you. Oh, yeah. Then when they say I do, you wish you said I don't. That's right. Amen. Amen. Best to do it right the first time. I don't care if you're 40 or 50. That's right. You're better off being a 40-year-old version <laughs> That's right. than being 40 and being miserable. That's right. Yeah, me good. And she said unto him, there is you young people, mm -hmm. I'm getting older. I need to get married. No, you need to be saved. <laughs> You need to be holy. Yeah. Hmm? Amen. Amen. Marriage is work. You got to be mature enough and responsible. Otherwise, in that, you stay single and tired for the Holy Ghost. So you don't go to hell. That's right. Hear me good now. And she said unto him, There is no cause. I'm going to marry no man and you already established, got a bank account, got a house. And then when you, you talking to him and he tell you, well, this is what you do. I want you to enroll all your money from your account in mine. Tell him bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. That's right. Some of you fool women to do it. Yeah. Not even married to him. Take all your money that you got. We ain't married yet, but take all your money. Just give it to me. You take your hard-earned check, give it to me, then I give you so much of money a week out of your check mm. and let you know what you need. 
my Lord. You're making 175 and 200 and 250,000 a year, mm. and you bring your check home. And you give it to him, give it to and him. he give you five dollars a week out of it. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then you say, "I got a loving husband." You got a thief. That's right. You fool! Don't you know a thief when you see it? That's right. Robin Hood. <laughs> a lot of us are so busy speaking in tongue and shaking, we don't listen enough. That's right. You better get this in you, especially you young people. Everything that comes to first church is not a first church. That's right. Amen. Amen. You better wait. Yeah. And hear. And hear. And evaluate. Oh, yes. With Bible. That's right. Look past shaking. That's right. <laughs> The past speaking them tongues, shing a ning a ning a ning, shing a ning a ning, shingles, 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 shing a ning a ning a ning. Look past all that. Look past all of that. He's telling you he got the shingles. Look past it. <laughs> Amen. You better hear the old man. Oh, yes. I see you talking while I was away. Because mm. I was away sick, heaven was dealing with me. Oh, yes. Now, one thing about it, whether sickness or health, heaven deals with me. That's right. He keep my vision going on, Williams. That's right. That's whether, right. Hallelujah. Whether I'm laid in bed That's something, sick, brother. God, heaven voice will come talk to me and bring me you. My Lord. I see you. My Lord, my Lord. Some of you already made plans to marry and uh, went and talked to some of the ministers. Figure you'll talk to me afterward. Mm. All right, go ahead. Amen. I ain't gonna run behind you. I'm busy. That's right. Amen. I'm married already. <laughs> That's right. Amen. You don't want to hear? You will understand. You will understand. Once you say I do, yes. and sign that contract. Sign contract. Bound. Bound. Some of you go witness this women and men out the church. And your objective is to bring them men so you can marry them. Right. You, ain't, you don't want them to be saved. You want <laughs> no. them to be saved. Your interest is that they be saved if you never marry them. That's right. The Bible said don't be unequally yoked. That's right. With the unbeliever. With the unbeliever. He ain't saved. Ain't need for you to get serious about him. I don't care how nice he is. <laughs> no. He's so nice. Every time you see him, he's juggling oranges. <laughs> Grinning. <laughs> nice. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Come on, Williams. And she said unto him, Real there, quick. there is no cause. This evil in sending me away is greater than the other that thou didst unto me. Yeah. But he would not hearken unto he her. He won't listen. Then he called his servant that ministered unto him and said, Put now this woman out from me. Throw her out. And bolt the door after her. Notice it changed all together. Changed. Lock the door. Amen. I don't want her back now. I want her back. Listen. And she had a garment of divers colors upon her. She had a garment of many colors upon her. For with such robes were such the king's daughters the that king were virgins daughter apparel. That was virgins. Then his servant brought her out and bolted the door after her. And then what? And Tamar put ashes on her head. She put ashes on her head. And rent her garment. And let everybody know she's in mourning. That's right. And then what? And rent her garment of divers colors that was on her. many colors. And laid her hand on her head and went on crying. Amen. You mean to tell me you didn't cry after the so-called rape? After it. You just said to him, now you know this is wrong. <laughs> oh, Lord. He said, yeah, I know. I know it's wrong. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> after they both said they after. agree, they start tonguing each other down again. That's no more rape than I'm the Lone Ranger. He's Tonto. And I'm Tonto. <laughs> Kimo Sabi. Kimo Sabi. <laughs> Here, go 
back to the New Testament, son. Back in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. I'm about to knock off here. Thou therefore endure hardness. Endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. If you lied on a brother mm -hmm. or lied on a sister, you better go to them and repent. That's right. You that spread the lies to others. That's right. You better let them know you was wrong. You lied. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Sometime a man get mad at you because the relationship didn't work out. Right. So he spread lies about you to get back at you. Or sometimes she do it. That's right. Get all over social media. That's right. Put stuff out and send letters to people who don't even know you. Don't even know you. New people come New in. People. Look out for him. He done this to me. He said they don't even know them. That's right. They don't even know the whole story. Amen. Be careful. Be careful. You thank God put somebody in your life. The devil can put him in your life to derail you. That's true. And now you start casting judgment upon somebody based upon what somebody else said. And you don't even know the person. That's right. And you thinking ill of them. Yeah. And all these weak saints, only thing many, most of them say is, it comes from good sources. Oh, shut up. You want That's a good right. source? Williams is reading from it. That's right. That's the good source That's I respect right here. That's it. That's right. I don't respect nobody else's good source. <laughs> this is the best source. Oh, because yeah. this never lied. Amen. Never. He's not a God that's all over the place with his emotions. No. No, sir. Oh, no. I thank God he's not. That's right. He's stable. That's right. When you're all over the place with your emotions, look out. Okay. You've got a mess on your hands. Oh, yeah. Whether it's your wife, children, brother, minister, I don't care who he is. That's if true. they all over the place with their emotions, you got a mess on your hands. Oh, yeah. And they want you to take what they said. And when you say, no, I'm going to take what the Bible said. the say. Bible say. It attests the Holy Ghost. Yeah. They get mad at you, may cuss you out. Oh, yeah. May threaten you, may cut all your tires. Huh. He may burn all your dresses. That's right. You tell them, no, I'm going to go with the Bible. You're going to go with the Bible? What about me? What about you? Yeah. Yeah, what about you? What about you? Come on back to Bible. That's right. I, mean, I ain't get a chance to tell the world that in over a month. Come on back to Bible. <laughs> That's right. Come on back. That's I right. believe that book with all my heart. Yeah. It's perfect. It has never led me wrong. No. And I would take that over anybody any day. Oh, yeah. God heart don't fluctuate. No. God feelings don't fluctuate. No. The, the human family of heart is everywhere. Everywhere. That's why they falsely accuse, falsely indict, yeah. mingle with the wrong people. Everything. Everything. Because their heart is all over the place. That's right. You can hear it in their conversation. They're everywhere. Yeah. Other than where they should be. Amen. God stationary. Oh, yes. I love that. Oh, yes. Focus. Not move. That's right. Or if they God in for you to be a good soldier, good soldier. That's the character you got to have. Yeah. You can't have your mind and your heart everywhere. You're not in church when you're here. That's right. All over the place. All over. Worrying about who's at church. Who's not at church. Worry about if you here. That's right. Amen. And God ain't get the word of God in you. Because if you're a soldier, you at war. And oh, I'm yes. inclined to believe that God's people, many of them have not yet come to grips of the kind of war that kind we're war. in. That's right. The battle that we're in is mm. plain and simple. Satan is determined to take you to hell with him. That's it. Keep this in mind. That's it. All it takes is one thing. Yeah. 
All you got to do is die with one, 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 one. wrong thing. How many things did Adam do to get put out the God? Just one. One spot. That's it. One wrinkle. Before I die, I have to make sure I have no ill against my neighbor. That's right. Can't hate nobody. I have to love everybody. Have to love everybody. I can't be trying to love everybody. I have to love, have to love. all my enemies. That's right. If I don't, that's a spot. That's a spot. That's a wrinkle. They have nothing against nobody. If I die that way, I'm lost. That's right. When you're a soldier, this is what you're fighting up against. Yeah. You have to fight your way into the kingdom of God. That's it. And many of us have gotten easy, laid back. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm in the truth of God. I'm in first church. All right. <laughs> and now you got to be in training camp, boot training. camp. And brother, being saved mm. is a tough thing. Oh, yes. We have lost focus, many of us. We have got caught up in the success of the church. Here I'm the overseer and I don't even get caught up in it. <laughs> That's right. We have gotten caught up yeah. in the success of the church and looking at all the people and thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars of property that the church owns. Oh, here's the Lord going to burn it all up. Burn it up. That's why I can't get caught up in it. That's right. Property is worth millions of dollars and the Lord going to consume the earth with their increase and set on fire the foundation of the mountain and that and the fire they could detour none of the property. <laughs> no. He gonna burn it up. Burn it up. Send me out the bill and work and then burn it up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Told me going all the world. All right. <laughs> now I'm burning up. <laughs> can't take nothing with you. No, you can't. You better come on back and get your mind right or you're gonna lose the war. That's right. Ask yourself, are you a good soldier? good soldier? Or are you just hanging around with a uniform on? Hmm. What up, God says, fight the good fight, fight, the of, good faith. fight of faith. And then it says, laid hold, laid hold. on eternal life. Thank God, whereunto thou art also called. Oh. That's right. And have professed. Good profession. A good profession. Before many witnesses. Before what? Many witnesses. Many witnesses. If the Lord came right now, would you be prepared? Lord, or do you got ill in your heart towards somebody? That's right. They done this. They done that. Yeah, what did you do? I didn't do that. You done something. Done something. And you done it against God. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Year in, year out, you don't want to be in the same stage. Yeah. And when the message comes and you find yourself in the same stage, don't you know God is warning you? That's right. Don't you know God is warning, warning you? you? Endure hallelujah. Now therefore God. endure hardness. Now therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus All Christ. All right, you sinners. Amen. You sure want to be a soldier for good God. Soldier. You're already a soldier for the devil. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. You smoke your weed and drink your beer and party and go out clubbing and live together, not married. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You're a soldier for the devil. Oh, yeah. You know, you're talking about you don't know what a, whether you're a man or a woman. You're trying to decide. Just stand in the mirror and get naked. You know what you are. <laughs> Let's look at what you are. Bing, that's your answer. <laughs> that's your answer. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Got these dumb ignorant hell bound congressmen in Congress trying to define what a woman is. That's right. Do you know this discussion that's going on in Washington, D.C.? Yeah. To entertain the transgender community. Yeah. What 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 is a woman? What is a woman? It's your mama. That's, <laughs> that's right. Plain and simple. You that confused? Let me come and watch it. I tell you, it's your mama. <laughs> it sure ain't your daddy. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. What is a woman? 
Now the transgender want to take away the title mother from the women. Lord. Yeah, all you women that got babies, they don't want the women now to be called mothers. They want them to be called baby carriers. What? You know, like you're a freight liner. <laughs> Like you're a freight Lord, liner, baby carriers. <laughs> and you know these dumb, ignorant congressmen is considering it? Mm. Wow. What's a woman? Your mama! Your mama. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> President Biden joining in on the conversation. Mm. Oh, we, we, didn't, we didn't know what a woman is. We, <laughs> we, we, we didn't know what a woman is. A woman is your mama. <laughs> That's right. Tell him about Pastor. That man is past 80, isn't he? He's past 80, right? I, I believe so. You mean to tell me you past 80 and you don't know your, your mama and your wife? That's right. Is a woman? <laughs> Lord help us. They keep trying to shove this trash on Africa. That's and right. African presidents, one by one, is standing up against it. That's right. One by one. That's right. Africa say, well, you ain't bragging that stuff over here. That's right. I've been watching the discussion on social media. Different African presidents from different countries rising up. You ain't bringing that over here. Amen. And now America want to sanction each country. Yeah. It's more quicker to sanction a country who don't condone same-sex marriages, but they won't sanction no country who won't hire blacks to work. That's right. Dumb, ignorant, hell bound country. That says a hell bound country. It's something. Before you know it, the transgender gonna want their Statue of Liberty. Don't be surprised. It'd be something. They gonna want their Statue of Liberty with a rainbow robe. A wink. That's right. Huh? That's right. With a face like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Get themselves an artist. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead. America, America is going to hell. That's right. Going to hell and you ought to go. Ought to go. Amen. All these congressmen and congresswomen. It's it is sick for a congresswoman it's to participate in a conversation. What is a woman? What? It's you. What is a woman? That's really something. In China, men are volunteering to be guinea pigs for the Chinese scientists. And the Chinese is trying to get men pregnant, Lord. experimenting on their bodies. See, can their bodies carry a baby? My Lord. I hope your stomach bursts and you bleed out and die and go to hell. <laughs> Hallelujah. I won't take it back. No. I don't care who don't like it. That's right. <laughs> go ahead, man. God made the man to put forth. Right. God made the woman to bring forth. That's right. That's right. Amen. Why you don't you don't hear this over social media? No. Everybody just go along and get along, you bunch of social media heathens. That's right. You're a bunch of heathens, every last one of you. Oh yes. Oh, Congress yes. wanna find out who and these men are in their seventies and eighties. Yeah. You don't know your mama, you fool? That's a fool. What's a woman? Your mama! <laughs> That's right. It's something, man. <laughs> What's a woman? Lord help the people. Now it's the curriculum. They're putting these curriculums in schools. Yeah. 
Even books. Yeah. Books that show pictures. Yeah. To your children. Oh, yeah. Congress is passing. Oh, they're trying to shove this trash. Oh, yeah. Somebody was telling me some time ago on TikTok, it was two transgenders with an infant. I guess they adopted an infant. Mm. And had the one transgender said that uh, it ain't no milk coming out of my breast. Lord. Or an infant. Have mercy, have mercy. Another transgender was mad with a gynecologist because she wouldn't see him. No way. What's she going to look at? <laughs> That's right. The transgender wants to sue the gynecologist what? because she won't see him. You ain't got what the gynecologist got. <laughs> Go ahead, man. What is wrong with you men? That's scared to stand up and speak out against this trap. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, they scared. That gynecologist has got more sense than you got. What you gonna look at your toes? <laughs> My Lord. She, she wouldn't see me. I don't blame her. <laughs> Go to your doctor. Let him look at your plumbing. Let him look at you. That's right. That's just how sick it is. Sick. Yes. Sick. You dumb, ignorant, hell deserving things. Yeah. So, all congressmen, all former presidents of America, yeah. and all present and future presidents of America, yeah. all presidents, all congressmen, all congresswomen, all school teachers, all everybody Amen. who's participating in a conversation. On behalf of the transgender, yeah. the man who want to be the woman. Yes. Superman want to be Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah? Like the Superman now, he want to wear the lasso and right. bracelets. That's Went right. from man of steel to man of flowers. Man of flowers. You dumb, ignorant, hell bound things. <laughs> That's something. All of you that speak in behalf of the transgender community. Yeah. What is a woman? What is a woman? You ought to die and go to hell. Amen. Yeah. Amen. There ain't no two women, no two women, nor two men. What you mean? Can get babies here. No. You just can't do it. Won't do it. It ain't no two men or two women can participate no. and get babies here. No. Because God designed this. God designed it. That's right. This is God design. That's right. You will say I'm gay bashing. No, I'm preaching Bible. Bible said they transformed themselves. Satan have transformed himself into an angel of light. And so man have transformed himself to a woman. That's right. They said they're going to try to make a law where you got to have transgender bathrooms, including yeah. in the churches. Yeah. You come on and bring it here, Congress boy. <laughs> you Congress boys. That's right. First church of the Lord Jesus Christ, you come here with that law. Amen. I take the Bible and beat you unmerciful. That's right. I'm not playing either. If you think I'm bluffing, this is one preacher that don't mind challenging all Congress. All Congress. Go ahead, man. What's a, woman? What's a woman? It's all over the news, this discussion taking place. Have mercy. For days and weeks and months, how do you define a woman? How do you define her? That's Your up. mama. That's right. That's right. Short, quick answer. Please, I, I, I would love to come. What's a woman? Your mama. <laughs> That's right. 
That's right. I will ask everybody in Congress how you got here. How you got the here. Amazon delivered you? <laughs> the FedEx sent you here? Did you fell from a man's backside? Go ahead. Did a man throw you up? Spew you out? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Or did you come from where the Son of Man came from? That's it. The womb. The womb. That's right. Osteen and Jake and these other perverts. One man heard I was sick. He said, oh, he's sick, huh? Well, maybe that'll give him time to lay there and think about and stop talking about Jake's and focus on Jesus. What? <laughs> I'm back and Jake's still going to hell. <laughs> Go ahead. They don't want me to speak no, against sin. <laughs> They no, don't they want me to speak against sin no. and wrong. They no. don't want it. Nope. Glory to God. They just like they were when Moses was on a mountain and Israel rose up to play. And the Bible said they played and danced. Dance. Didn't it say so? That's right. Played and danced. Dance. And brother, <laughs> the world is dancing. They're oh, dancing yes. too. Step and fetch it, Pastor. Hey. Dancing. Oh, yeah. Having a big time. Big time in it. Yeah. And they know the preachers have fell asleep years ago. Yeah. And they sleep too. They sleep. No, they, it's not an alarm clock out there in social media. All no. the alarms is dead. They took the <laughs> batteries out. The alarms are dead. That's it's right. a flatliner. That's right. That's right. Thank God, but the alarm clock is back. Loud and ringing. Loud and ringing. Amen. To all of you congressmen, I, this is an open invitation to all congressmen and congresswomen who stuck in the head of what a woman is. I would love to invite you here to the Truth of God campus for a televised discussion. Have that discussion with me. In fact, several of you. Several of you. It'll be short and sweet. Your mama. That's a woman. And I dare you to tell me it's love. That's right. Because I'm going to take it to the Bible and to tell you Bible. what God called it. That's right. He called it abomination. 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 And being that is of the world, God says love, love not, not the world. The world. That's it. Amen. That's right. Amen. It takes God to send a preacher. Yeah. Hallelujah. It takes God to send a preacher. That's right. And one thing I say about the truth of God, you can't get this mixed up with no program. Oh, no. Where they God, the Bible says that people shall do well alone. That's you can right. get this thing as separate from everything and everybody. Give me Acts 38 so I can knock off. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. You that are here. Amen. You sinners who ain't, you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You know you went somewhere and Bow your old head and raise your old hands. Talking about you accept Christ as your personal savior. Christ ain't came through your hands. Raise your head up. Put your hands down. Or you went to some church and prayed a sinner's prayer. Mm -hmm. Bible ain't never told you pray a sinner's prayer. No. This is what God told you to do. Then Peter said unto them, repent. The reason why he wants you to repent first because you're of the devil. Your yeah. mama, your daddy, your wife, your, your husband, your children. Mm -hmm. You have the devil. Proof is you live like the devil. That's right. You know you do. You go to church once in a while That's from right. religion to religion. Some of you live together not married and smoke and dance and cuss and act like a wild fool. That's right. You know you no more like Christ and a duck is like a chicken. Amen. Hear this. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. I don't care how wild and foolish you are. Do you want to go to hell? Hmm. Listen. The hot weather we've been having, that's hot enough. Oh, yeah. Imagine going to hell, burning, long as God remained God. Yeah. He said, repent. God wants you to be sorry for your sins. That's right. And have a desire to quit and make a change and get right with God. Yeah. Don't get baptized and then you go back out there in the street living like a fool. That's right. God wants you to continue that's with it. him. That's it. This is good for all of you that were baptized and then went on out in the street. Mm -hmm. God going to judge you just the same. Just the same. 
repent and be baptized every one of you. How much? Every one of Thank you. Not everybody. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. If you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you ain't baptized. You just wet. No. I'm a father, I'm a son, I'm a husband, but my name is Genesis. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is father because he created everything. Son, because he was manifested in the flesh, and that flesh was a body of flesh and blood. Yeah. Holy Ghost, because he's the keeper and the protector and the power that abide within the church. That's right. But that whole Father, Son, the Holy Ghost got a name, and that name is Jesus, and he's the Christ. In the, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away in what did God declare. And ye shall receive the gift of the Anybody Holy Ghost. Anybody want to be right today and don't want to burn in hell. Amen. And want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet Amen. if you want to be right today. Amen. Wonderful. All of you that are standing on this side, follow that brother there. Wonderful. All of you that are standing there, follow the sister there. Amen. 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 Truly, and the beat goes on. And the beat goes on. And That's right. I said the beat goes on. That's right. This is the best thing. All right. We can thank, yes, brother. Yes. Oh, so I can pray for you. Let us all stand. Okay, let's go around the other way, brother. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, upon this brother, let your spirit rule, rest, and abide forever. Pardon every transgression, blot out every iniquity, give healing to him wherever it's needed. Keep him and preserve him, that he may walk with the word of God, that when you come, he may be one of the ones kind of worthy to go back with you. Stand by, may be with them in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Eternal God, look down upon this sister. Lord, stand by and be with her. Restore her heart, mind, soul, body, and spirit. Strengthen her and give her desires of her heart according to your divine will and purpose. Yes. Keep her and preserve her. And when you come, Lord Jesus, she may be one of the ones, kind of whether they go back with you. Stand by and be with her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Remain standing, please. Under him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Only wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to whom be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, let everyone say amen. amen. Everybody come on back, God willing, at 5 o'clock.